Right, just a quick video in case um, you notice something that I noticed and, and uh, it might annoy you. Um, this had crossed uh, over and closed below the uh, 10 moving average but hadn't given a signal. It didn't make any difference to the trade but I've noticed a couple of times we do get uh, uh, that where we don't get the correct signal so don't worry. Um, the other thing well, uh, the other thing to point out is that um, I haven't worked out how to get this actual indicator onto um, onto uh, YouTube yet, so that for you to download. But all you need to do is just uh, Google "moving average crossover alert," and um, they're all over the place. So just uh, download one yourself uh, for the time being and um, have a play around with it. You know, this is set to paint an arrow on here when the uh, three moving average crosses over the. Uh, the uh, um, 10 moving average so just play around with it but it's not actually um, uh, that precise uh, to worry about so just get something that gives you this similar arrows to this all I'm trying to do is give you an indication of uh, patience and discipline and, and, and how mechanical a system can be and you don't need all these uh, oscillators down here and you don't need RSI's and you don't need stochastics and uh, Fibonacci's and all that stuff just a plain simple grid on here and um, and just follow the rules like I um, or make your own rules rather and uh, and just make sure you follow them now one of my oh I didn't mention this either we were at I don't think I did we were at, up at about 60 pips with an average of 120 a day so once you've got the trend of the day in place you can see what happens you know it just grinds itself down I was watching this here with a temptation to take the trade but I didn't you know why I didn't because I know seven or eight pips a day every day will quadruple my account if I use that compounding chart that I showed you so there is you know there's nothing worse on especially on a Friday going into the weekend and wishing you hadn't taken a trade that's just lost you three or four hundred quid or fat thousands of pounds or whatever you uh, you need to trade with so um, if in doubt stay out as it were you know there is no rush and what would have um, what uh, did um, scare me at the time was the distance between all these moving averages I want to be trading when the moving averages are pretty close together um, you know first trade of the day or whatever uh, second trade of the day um, again that's experience um, and uh, you'll learn the hard way I'm sure unless you just pick up this uh, the discipline required to trade this method that I'm showing you now straight away and uh, and there you go so so uh, that's it, short and sweet video. I didn't take this one, although we've still got uh, a good potentially uh, 10 or so pips to go to the downside. Um, with the, when you're so far into the uh, English or the UK session, London session as it were, it's now midday. After 10 o'clock, I've, I've often seen, and that's why I don't like trading past 10 o'clock in the morning, even nine o'clock to be honest, Often seen they'll go sideways until the American session and then the Americans can send it the exact opposite way or they'll just uh, crash it again. But I don't want to be, um, could be, maybe, all that lot. I just want to trade, trade a mechanical method and that's what I do. Thanks for listening. Or watching even. Bye.